Hi, this is Charlie from the Radical Sports Car Registry. Today we're going to do a quick overview video of the Quaife gear drive unit that's used in the Radical SR3. This is what the gear drive unit looks like as it's sitting in the car. This piece here is the uh, gear ratio cover. Under this cover you have the ratio gears. These gears are easily changed out if you want to change the final drive ratio of the car. So if you've got a uh, need different gearing uh, for the track, this is a pretty straightforward process to change these gears. Now this is the business side of the gear drive unit. Normally, this is what you would see on that side of the gear drive unit. You've got the gear drive unit oil pump and the gear drive unit vent. Inside though, this is how things work. Power comes from the engine into the input shaft. From the input shaft, it goes through the ratio gears. From the ratio gears, it goes through the main shaft. On the main shaft, you have a reversing fork. The reversing fork changes the uh, where the power is going to go to. So info, if you're going forward, power goes through the input shaft, through the ratio gears, to the forward gear on the main shaft, to the crown wheel gear, which drives the differential, and then the axle comes out of here. So this is forward. In reverse, it changes the flow a little bit. The power comes to the input shaft through the ratio gears into the main shaft. But with this collar up, it's now driving this reverse gear, which then in turn drives the idler shaft and idler gears. And then that drives the uh, crown gear and the differential. So there it is, that's reverse. And that's forward. So if you have any other questions about the gear drive unit's operation or anything else to do with Radical, come join us at RadicalSportsCarRegistry.com and join in on the conversation. Thank you very much.